if you're a first time home buyer i can do like negotiate your on your behalf to give you closing costs and interest rate as well What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite Filipino Central Florida Realtor with EXP Realty, specializing in new construction here in Central Florida. Today in this video, I will give you some insight or some insight what's going on in the Fed and also the interest rate going on at this current market. If you are planning to buy a property right now or if you just want to wait until next year 2024 to see what's going on about the interest rate or real estate market, make sure to watch this video from this start till the end so that you will have an idea if you should get under contract buy right now or wait until interest rates drop down for next year but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe and make sure to smash that like button for me if you found this value and helpful to your home buying journey and also the last thing that i would like to say here i am filipino nagtatagalog po ako kung may question kayo or may tanong kayo please text nyo ako tawagin nyo ako i will reply you back as soon as possible so without further ado let's jump into it super excited excited for this news so what happened right now in this current market the fed is just releasing that the federal reserve will cut interest rate six times in 2024 as the economy show clear sign of cooling down the ing says i am super excited to hear this news because as you know the interest rate or the current interest rate for loan or mortgages is like seven eight percent so at this current market what they say is like the interest rates is cooling down for 2024 which is a good news especially for those home buyers out there that who's planning to buy a house however this is not all about good news we also have a something that we need to think about it if we are going to wait until we buy a property in 2024 right now what i can see in the interest rates going down so more people will coming into the real estate and buy properties okay i will give you like one example or maybe two example if you should buy real estate right now or you you should just wait when the interest rate drop a little bit so for example right now the interest rates that we are seeing is about seven percent or mid seven percent okay today is december 2023 i've seen that the interest rate from from eight percent or high eight percent now they are just trying to cut down to seven or around mid seven percent okay however i just wanted to let you know that i am not a lender i am just getting all the message from the lender who just giving me information about the interest rate and what's going on currently so are we clear on that one so if you are going to buy a property right now with the interest rate around seven to seven and a half percent what will happen is we can negotiate on that one so what do you mean like we can negotiate you can always negotiate on something for let's say the home price the home price that we are trying to buy is around four hundred thousand dollars and right now no one wants to buy a real estate is just because of the high interest rate what will happen if you have a high interest rate by this mean if you are going to buy a 400,000 with high interest rate let's say 7 or 7.5% obviously your monthly mortgage will be more compared if you are going to buy a property for $400,000 for let's say 6% or 5% your monthly mortgage will probably around 200 300 or even sometimes $400 lesser monthly so that's the difference however if you are planning to do that by next year and when all the buyers going to buy real estate in 2024 what will happen the 400,000 that you want to buy the property will be probably around 400,000 why because right now there's no one buying property so people are searching and waiting for this interest rate go down and then what happens is when the interest rate go down imagine 100 people will jump into real estate and then they are willing to pay more in the proper price total price just to get that interest rate of let's say 30 years or 15 years mortgage okay so let's say you get the interest rate for five percent instead of like seven percent okay so that the four hundred thousand become four hundred fifty thousand because as i said demand more demand equals to price increasing so what will happen is if you are buying to four hundred thousand and all the buyers wants to buy in there as well at the same time they will have or we will have a bidding wars so what is bidding wars so this is what gonna be like you are going to bid the property from four hundred thousand and who's got the highest bid from four hundred thousand gotta be the winner all right so this is how it works in real estate so what will happen is like oh let's
let's say people wants to buy real estate now we have like five percent interest rate instead of seven you will save two percent and now you are planning to buy a four hundred thousand you cannot get it because there's another people or another buyer who wants to buy this four hundred thousand because of the interest rate as well so what will happen between you and the versus buyer who wants to buy this property and the seller what will do is they will say like give me a buyer give me a bid and who's the bid who's the highest bid i will accept it let's say you are the buyer you're gonna pay or let's say negotiate for okay four hundred thousand here you go i want to buy your property and the other buyer he said like oh i'm gonna put like probably four hundred twenty thousand twenty thousand more because you know highest the bidders get property and then because of the interest rates go down there's another buyer that who would like to pay more could be like four hundred fifty thousand fifty thousand more on the property price just to get and lock in this rate because it's so low so what will happen is the highest bidder or the highest buyer that who would like to pay more in this property will get the property simple as like that right however if you are going to buy a property right now before 2024 what will happen is you can negotiate that bit the interest rate you can always do refinance that one in the future however the price of the property you cannot refinance that one in the future whatever you pay in the property that's the price of the property so if you are considering buying a property just right now just before the interest rate drop for one percent or two percent what you can do instead of four hundred thousand buying a property right here you can negotiate because no one wants to buy a property for four hundred thousand for seven percent or maybe seven and a half percent so if you're thinking or if you have a good realtor that you can negotiate on your behalf what he will do or what he will tell you is like let's get this property get under contract submit an offer and see what happens if I'm a buyer, as you know, I'm a real estate agent. What I will do is I will get the 400,000 price. I won't go though like for 390 or 380. However, I will ask for credit from the seller for let's say I want to buy a interest rate from the seller and the seller will pay for that one okay so let's say the seller is willing to negotiate with you and then they accepting that as long as you get the 400,000 but they will give you let's say 10,000 or even 15,000 just for a seller credit whatever you want to do for that 10,000 or 15,000 just to either for closing costs or buy interest rate so what can happen is the interest rate you can buy them down okay let's say the interest rate from now is around seven percent and then if to buy down for one point or two points to become five percent it will cost you money and by then the money that you ask for the seller which is the seller credit they can apply that in your loan so what happened is the four hundred thousand and they give you ten thousand at least on your seller for credit for closing costs or whatever you want to do for that ten thousand dollars you can use it for buy down interest rate for fix okay so let's say from 7% become 5%, it costs you probably $10,000, $5,000 for one point, another $5,000 for five, one point. So by then, once you lock the interest rate from 7% and you bought two points to become 5% interest rate rather than 7%, so that, you know, the property price is just only 400000 You don't have to go up. It's just because of like negotiation. Because right now, as I said, there's not much demand going on rather than if you wait 2024 for 150000 the bidding wars is going there. You cannot ask for something like $10,000 for closing costs or if you're planning to buy a new construction. I'm a new construction specialist here in my area. So I can negotiate for your closing costs and not just even to buy down interest rates. So let's say I can negotiate anything, whatever your circumstance or whatever your current situation. If you have some money to put down more, we can negotiate that one. And I said like, we will put down more, give me the interest rate so that to buy down and the seller or the builder who wants to build the property so that it won't cost you that much or however if you're a first-time home buyer you don't have much cash reserve what i can do is like if you're going to buy a property and we go for new construction which i love new construction i can do like negotiate your on your behalf to give you closing costs and interest rate as well you know they could say the worst case scenario they could say is no however if they say yes we're good to go so this is the video for today guys i hope this video is helpful if you have any question and if you are planning to buy a property what would you do would you buy right now or wait till interest rates drop down for five percent and then you pay more on the total price let me know in the comments down below and once again thank you for watching this video i appreciate your time if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe like this button till next time i'll see you on my next video i'm out for today peace
What is going on, family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite Filipino Central Florida Realtor with EXP Realty. Uh...